everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. It's time to take a look at our week ahead to see what the cards have in store for this week. So I'm gonna shuffle up and we'll get started. If you're new to my channel, I focus in on my week ahead videos as to the energies that are playing out for the upcoming week. Sometimes what I pick up on is maybe a week or two out, not exactly in the seven day window of the week ahead. So it's kind of a general broad view of what's coming up. So as I look at the energies surrounding this week, I pulled a few cards. Um, so what I got for in the news, I have the burden card, the taking of responsibility. And the next question was what will surprise us? And I have the queen of cups. So I'm wondering if it's possible that there may be a female figure in the news that may be taking on a burden or a new role or a responsibility. It's possible. I think those two are related somehow, that there is a burden or responsibility shifting with regard to a female and her role, okay? And that might surprise us this week, might catch us off guard a little bit. So we'll see how that plays out. What do we see coming into view? And I've got the Five of Swords on this. Um, this is a card, I'll show it to you. It's a card of endings, of battles ending. But I also get a lot of um, chatter with it, like internet chatter. A lot of talk about something coming to an end. And this is coming into view. Uh, and it may be weighing heavily on people. It's like something's come to a crossroads and it it's like it can't go any further and there's going to be a shift or a change into a new direction. And that's evidenced by this next card too. But this is on weather or earth changes. We have the Six of Swords. What I see with the Six of Swords, that's kind of a calm and kind of a moving on. So I don't sense there's going to be anything too terrible. Um, again, there's always storms and earthquakes in various areas, uh, but I don't sense anything that's like a major problem. So as far as politics go, what will be happening there? Now, I've got some type of change. The Eight of Cups, though, denotes sad change. And so I'm wondering if this female, this Queen of Cups that I got picking up a new role, taking on new responsibility, has to do possibly with that sad change. This card is sitting underneath that queen in the way I have the cards laid out. So it's possible that some sad event or change is leading up to a female stepping into a new role or taking on new responsibility. It might be kind of playing out in the news or some type of spotlight that way. It may or may not refer to Kamala Harris. Uh, it could be someone else, but somebody else possibly stepping into a role, filling in a role, fulfilling a role after some sad change or just a difficult change of events. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, the financial markets. Now, what's gonna be happening in the financial area? Well, this is not a good card to have on that. This is the five of pentacles. This is a card about taking risk and that there is great risk involved with whatever the issue at hand is that you're discussing. So having that card show up on financial, I would say it's probably a good time to just kind of watch your investments, um, not do any wild speculation, kind of lay things low, not take great risks this week in the financial realm. Uh, we could see some market fluctuation. There could be a dip, maybe a little bit of a bump and then a dip. So just, just know that this is probably the market trying to stabilize itself. So there could be some of that involved. Um, I'm also sensing a, that there's possibly some manipulation involved as well. Uh, we know that that does happen. Um, yeah, it, that's just something I'm picking up on. So just be careful out there this week, okay? Let the storm kind of pass. Um, maybe things will be a little better in the coming weeks, but this week is a little bit, mm, a little tenuous, okay. What we need to know this week, oh, this is a nice card to have. 
So uh, underneath the, the any sad change or chaos or market fluctuations, um, this is a nice card telling us that underneath it all is a card of hope. It's the Ace of Cups, New Beginnings, a card of love. Uh, it's a happy, friendly card. And so that's, I think, what we need to hold on to this week is that anything that seems chaotic is probably just a fluctuation that needs to happen to balance itself out and this too shall pass. So just keep that in mind if you're going, especially if you're going through something um, difficult or challenging in your personal life, take that to heart as well. That this is just moving you through a temporary rough spot and on the other side things will smooth out and get better. Um, this is the love card, so there's good things in store with that card hanging on that question of what we need to know. That's what we need to know is to hang on to the good and the positive, okay? So the outcome this week, um, again, this week I think is a little bit challenging. Um, you know, we had that sad Eight of Cups coming in. We had that challenge of the Five of Swords, that challenge of the Five of Pentacles, this is the Eight of Swords, kind of a, kind of a, another difficult, challenging card. So this week, again, I think we're looking for a little bit of a challenge, but hopefully it's just short-lived and that we'll move through this and get to brighter pastures on the other side of this. But that card is the card of restriction. So don't. Um, this card may find us kind of not moving ahead very quickly. Things might be kind of stalled or feel like they're stuck like you're stuck in a rut or you can't move forward, that's gonna be the energies playing out this week. And we're probably gonna see that in the aggregate and also maybe in your personal life. You may see, feel, you may feel like things are stuck or they're not moving or not moving as fast as you'd like them to move or you feel like, gosh, I've got this big roadblock in my way. Um, so just know that this week, it's gonna be a little tough. The energies are a little stuck, so Again, we're hoping that on the other side of this, perhaps next week things will lighten up a little bit. Uh, but we've got some interesting aspects coming in that that really do um, have kind of a difficult or challenging feature about them. So that's what I sense this week. Um, the bottom card is, this is the overall kind of what's flavoring the week. We've got the High Priestess. This is the first major arcana, and she is all about uh, wisdom. She guides with intuition. So we might have to rely on our inner wisdom this week because it may not match what we're seeing out in the world, okay? What we're seeing happen uh, may not exactly be what we want to see, and so we're gonna have to hold on to an internal vision that keeps us grounded and stable and in a good mood, okay? And happy in spite of appearances, okay? All right, so it might be a little tough week, but hang in there, you will get through this, we will get through this, and there are brighter days ahead, okay? All right, thanks everyone for tuning in to this week ahead. We'll see what happens, and uh, we'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge, bye for now.